Yo, what is good guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Sacred Gold Wedlock. In the last episode, we made it here to CN Wood City. And in this episode, we are going to be taking on the CN Wood City Gym. So, let's start off by doing some exploring of CN Wood City. And as always guys, if you could leave a like if you enjoyed the episode, that would be awesome. And be sure ahead, or be sure to go ahead and drop a comment as well. Tell me what you thought of the episode and stuff, because I'd really appreciate the feedback and stuff. So, turns out that this guy doesn't have any, uh of his stock, so we can't get the medicine for Ampharos yet. So I'm assuming we're probably gonna have to beat the gym before we actually uh, get the medicine off him to bring to Ampharos, which kind of sucks, but anyway, this guy, uh, he has a Pokemon he can give us, but our party is full. I think he gives you a Shuckle, which I'm not honestly interested in, so I don't think uh, we're going to uh, get that shuckle, I don't really see the point, so yeah, let's just head in here into this house and see what's happening. Hey kid, isn't Gligar? Yeah, Gligar's a really awesome Pokemon. Uh, I should raise- are you gonna give me that Gligar? No, you're not, you're just gonna give me the, uh, the Razor Fang to get Gliscor. Which sucks, cause you could've given me that Gligar there, but whatever. So what's up with this dude, uh, hey kid, isn't Sneasel the best Pokemon? No, but sure, we'll say yes. Because he'll give you the Razor Claw, which you can use to evolve Sneasel into Weavile, but it has to be at nighttime. Same with Gligar into, uh, Gliscor has to be at nighttime with the Razor Fang, so... Pretty nice. Was kinda hoping I'd get that Gligar, but, uh, sure. And, uh... Alright, take a picture, uh... No, thank you. Not too interested in that stuff, so... Uh, if you use Fly, can get back to Olivine City, nice. Anything going on here, this person? Oh, hello! A Pikachu washed up on the shore. It seems it was surfing, but it collapsed. You could do with the tri- Oh, wow, really? A surfing Pikachu? I think I'm gonna get that. That could be some... coverage, I guess. Pikachu would surf, that's actually pretty sweet, so... Yeah, I think we'll, uh... We'll take that instead of the Shuckle. I didn't talk to people in the Pokemon Center either, so I can do that. But we'll just go nab up that Pikachu, I will have to leave something in the PC, and I need to move Tentacool into my, uh, Box 1, which only has three Pokemon in it. Yeah, we, if, we, if we lose something, we're, we're not looking great, but I will just drop Sophia in here for the time being, while we go pick up that Pikachu. And I'll, like, I'll talk to everybody when I'm coming back to get Sophia back out of the PC. So yeah, cool, Surfing Pikachu, that's actually pr oh, hoping that Surf. I assume it will, because it said it was Surfing, so... Here's hoping it'll have Surf. And, um... Yeah, cool. What? Oh. There... That Pokemon Leaner... Oh, okay, so this to be a... Alright. Oh, has to be a Pokemon that really likes you. We'll go with Luxembourg. I'm pretty sure Nido King loves me enough. Nope, not really. Okay, so I guess you can't actually get that Pikachu. Thought we would be able to. Thought. Well, I mean, our Pokemon are pretty fresh. I mean, we only got them. F we only started training these guys up recently, so it makes sense if they aren't totally in love with me yet. But actually, maybe Sophia. Cause Sophia evolves by happiness. Um, spending so long just trying to get a Pikachu. I don't even know if- well, well, it could be helpful, so I guess we'll just see if it'll work with Sophia, and if it doesn't, then... That sucks. <laughs> but sure. It's fine, though. Sophia did evolve by happiness, so... You know, we could- we could get some influence here. Alright, so let's see. Are you training the Pokemon Leader Party? Nope. Okay, never mind then. This, uh... Pikachu seems like a bit of a... A jerk to get. By, this, by the looks of it. Just doesn't want to come along, alright. Fine, then we'll just get, uh... Get our... Kiev out of the PC. And yeah, Jerk Pikachu doesn't want to join the team, that sucks. So I need to switch the team around again, so it's correct, which means, uh... You go here, and you go here. Nice, alright, so... Let's see what is going on here. And, uh, yeah, I haven't talked to anybody here, so... Talking about the gym, it's fighting type Pokemon, you can fool them with psychic types or simply defeat them before they can demonstrate their power. By the way, Chuck is the gym leader, it's training won't hear you unless you stop the pounding of water. 
Right. Hoo ha! Through singular, through singular discipline, we will reign supreme. We will be strong. We will prevail. Hoo ha! There's a nifty item I'd like to gift you with for watching us. It's known as a choice band. All right, cool. So we get the choice band. That's nice. And it'll boost your attack by a generous amount, which is actually just plus one. So, I mean, yeah, cool. Free plus one for our physical attacks, but we don't have many. So, I mean, choice specs would have been awesome, because that would definitely help. So, yeah, I'll just keep going on up here. And there is uh, Suicune. But uh, we're just going to head in here first. And I believe this is like the old lady. Oh, wow, this used to be the old lady's house. That would tell you when you're Pokemon. Like, what, uh... What? Oh, hard scale. Oh, I could actually do with that. Um, this is the move deleter. So what I can do, I think you can get like a rock smash around here somewhere. So I think if I smash this rock, I'm pretty sure there's a hard scale behind it. And I can just go into the move deleter and uh, get rid of the move anyway. But I won't be able to reteach something. So um, I'm gonna get rid of curse. I'm not gonna be using that too much. But yeah, I want to see if I can get uh, the Air Slash. If I can get Air Slash. Nope, it's a Revive. It's not even Heart Scale, but I thought there was a Heart Scale back here. Um, I know if you use Rock Smash, you can find Heart Scales. But we can also find a Wild Pokemon, which I believe this is still classified as... Uh, yeah, classified as the Inwood City. So we might have to catch this thing. In which case, uh... I don't have a nickname for it, <laughs> so I'm gonna have one great ball. Wow, okay, gotta hopefully catch the shuckle in. So, one, two, three. I'm pretty sure, like, we could have got a shuckle anyway from that dude. Um, I am just gonna check my list and I will be back in just a second. So, see you guys then. Alright, so I've decided on a name. We are gonna call this thing Copenhagen, which is the capital of uh, Denmark. So, Copenhagen, and just about fits, great. Copenhagen, the shuckle. Alright, so we took no damage in that fight, which is good. Um, I guess we'll see what's going on with Suicune. I think we have to fight Yusin here. And I know he has Electrode, but I hope he doesn't lead with it, because obviously that's going to suck. Yo, Stuina! Wasn't that Suicune just now? I only just caught a quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on the waves. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads simpl at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided. I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, Stuina, let's battle now! Alright, so here we have Yuxin. And he is the mystery man who leads off with Hypno. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, I'm gonna go for Tri-Attack as Psychic. Doesn't do that much, so... Try attack does absolutely nothing. As he withdraws, gets predicted, and we're gonna smash this thing up with a uh, with a shadow ball. Get a special defense fall because of Serene Grace, and I'm gonna switch out into Kiev on the Thunderbolt. Get critted, which is not good. Uh, hopefully I have speed. I do, and I get to knock it out, which is all right. So jump up is next. Um, gonna go right back out into Sophia, I guess. And we are just going to heal up our uh, Kiev. So Reflect, that's fine. I'm using special attacks anyway. Heal up Kiev. Got to take an Aerial Ace. Now we'll Soft Boiled. So yeah, that prediction <laughs> on the... It uh, wasn't even a prediction. I just luckily went for a Shadow Ball because I remember that I had it. Uh, go for another try attack And knock it out nice. In comes Electrode. This thing is going to be a bother. Uh... What what is more power? I think signal beam has more power. Uh check moves. 75 65, yeah, so signal beam is our best bet. We'll go for signal beam. And we two it KO it, which is good. Hits a thunder, which doesn't knock me out, and we can take it out with a signal beam. And we're trying to learn leech seed. Uh Prague is trying to learn leech seed, so we're not gonna teach that. And hypno Oh I forgot to go to the move deleter, crap. It isn't um thing gonna evolve into Torterra now. Yes, it is. Alright, so Hypno is last. Um, Hit that up with a signal beam, I guess. Goes for a nasty plot. Go for another signal beam, and there we go. We've defeated Yusin, which... It all came down to that play, where I just predicted the... Uh, I didn't predict anything. I just went for Shadow Ball, but it paid off. It paid off. 
We can act like I predicted it. Anyway, now our Grottle is evolving into Torterra, which is nice, and it still has Rock Smash, which sucks, because it's going to learn Earthquake now that it's evolved. But yeah, here we have Prog, the Torterra. And what are we going to get rid of for it? Um... Yeah, what can we- what should we get rid of? Bite? That could be helpful for ghost types. I really- Oh, I should have remembered to delete that straight away. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Bite. I'm gonna delete Rock Smash now. For sure, but you're amazing, Stuina. I'm starting to understand why Suicune was keeping an eye on you. I'm gonna keep searching for Suicune. I have a feeling we'll see each other around again. Alright, cool. Talk to you later, bro. And no items around here. I wanted, like, I kinda wanna get out the- the dowsing machine and see if I can find any uh, hard scales or something just so I can teach like hopefully teach air slash to Togetic unless that's only Togekiss that gets it by uh, by move for learner but yeah Torterra we're getting rid of rock smash on you cuz you have no use for it that was your only use and it got in the way it made me delete bite which I'm not really too upset about or anything but I mean Sucks. Still sucks that we had to, uh, we had to lose that move. Alright, so. That is pretty much all of, uh, well, this is all of Sienwood explored once we head through here, and I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to go further anyway because I haven't finished the Safari Zone, so. That is all of Sienwood City explored, which means it is now time to take on the gym. After that battle with you seen, I am feeling rather confident about taking it on. I think I'm gonna go with, uh, Ninjask and Nido King for the trainers, and then probably go with Venomoth and Togetic for the gym leader. It definitely seems like a decent enough decision to me. So yeah, we'll go with Ninjask and Nido King. Mainly gonna be using Ninjask. I should actually give it the Choice Band. Choice Band Aerial Aces in the gym. That actually, yeah, that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. And if I have to switch, I can just switch. So, I mean, yeah, I think going for a choice band aerial ace wouldn't be a bad idea at all. See, so, yeah, Monaco can probably just rip through things now. Definitely not going to get outsped by anything, or shouldn't get outsped by anything, unless they're, like, super high leveled. And even then, we have speed boost. So, a lot relying on Monaco here. We'll see how he shapes up, or she shapes up, against this trainer here. So let's see, alright, Mankey, level 32, hit that up with an Aerial Ace, and just knock it out, good start, good start. Metatites, should knock that out as well. And a Riolu, so this guy had all the, the babies, <laughs> pretty much. I think I'm going to take the experience share off Prog for this gym, just so I can level up uh, Monaco a little bit. But yeah, it seems to be going pretty okay so far, not too bad at all. Alright, so let's... His fists are gonna do the talking, even though it's not his fists, it's his Pokemon's fists. But Aerial Ace takes out Machoke. Trying to learn agility, uh, no need for that. We have speed boost, that's just like a waste. Monferno, hit that up with an ace. Yeah, this is this is going good. This is uh perfectly fine. The choice banded aerial ace, especially against Heracross, is gonna just destroy it. This is good. I think I may even be I might even be able to take on the gym leader with just uh just Ninjask. That'd be pretty sweet. Ninjas never really gets any love. So yeah, just Aerial Ace. Level 39, nice. Machop, just gonna Aerial Ace that. And a Tyro, <laughs> definitely not gonna want an Aerial Ace either. Yeah, I think uh, I'm pretty confident with just going with Monaco, really, with Aerial Ace. Choice banded Aerial Ace. Ninjas is decently strong. Could work, it could work. Alright, so let's see. Hitmon Lee. Knock that out, <laughs> that's good stuff. Hit Moan Chan, if we knock that out, then I'll be pretty pleased. Yes, alright, sweet. And hit Moan Top, which does have Intimidate, which makes us, uh, just plus one. It doesn't make us plus one, it makes us just normal attack stat, because that is, uh... Well, Choice Band is pretty much having plus one. So, yeah, we one shot at Hit Moan Chan and Hit Moan Lee. Uh, did a lot to a Hit Moan Top after, uh, Intimidate. I... I think Ninjask can handle it. I'm feeling rather confident. The Choice Bandit Aerial Ace. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty sweet right about now. 
So yeah, I think what its attack stat? We'll just see what its attack stat is compared to like Venomoth, even though this thing quad resists stuff too. So 81 attack to Venomoth's 89 special attack and Togetic 72. Um, I'm still in favor. I'm still in favor of Monaco, to be honest. I think Monaco is gonna get the job done. Just showing that Nido King isn't isn't carrying the pair, because that's what it's been like. Nido King went through the entire uh, the entire lighthouse by itself, so kind of carried a little bit. And crap, I have to go around that way. But yeah, Nido King kind of carried in the lighthouse, so now it's Monaco's turn to do some carrying for the team. And let's just uh, pray that our ninjas can get the job done. So there we go. Put up the waterfall, which means Chuck is now ready to battle. And we are hopefully going to beat him, so let's see what he has to say. Oof! The pounding waterfall right onto my head. Ah! Why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoils my training. I have to warn you that I am strong, a strong trainer training every day under this waterfall. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Alright, so here we go. This is Chuck, the fifth gym leader in the game and the user of fighting type Pokemon. And Chuck is going to be leading off with his Primeape. And his Primeape is level 34. So, we do have Monaco at the front. Choice Bandit Ninjask with Aerial Ace. And hopefully this will knock it out. This will be a good way to determine how the gym is going to go. That's a good start. <laughs> I'm pleased with that. That's a good start. Alright, so we take out that, uh, take out that Primeape with one Aerial Ace. Get a nice attack boost as well. Or speed boost, wow. Next up, he's gonna choose Polyrath. Now, Polyrath, I don't know if I'll one-shot. Because Polyrath is decently bulky. It is level 35. This is a Choice Banded Aerial Ace from a Ninjask, though. So, this is gonna do, hopefully, a lot. Almost gonna take it out. It's gonna activate its Citr or Citrus Berry. And it is going to go for Hypnosis, and it's going to hit. Bad. That's bad news. That is really bad news. Monaco, you have to wake up really quick. Alright, so you're still asleep. Uh, what's it going to go for? It's going for Surf. I don't know how much that's going to do. Um, That is... I can't even stall sleep turns. I wish I had an Awakening right now. Uh, hmm. That did too much. Like you, we gotta wake up. Cause there's no point in me going for uh for super potions if he's just gonna hit every surf. Oh my god! Oh my god! You had to wake up, and Monaco, you absolute. God, <laughs> you god of ninjasks. <laughs> oh wow, Hitmonlee is next. Um, I want to heal up. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. What did it mean with like Stone Edge now or something? Oh god. I want to heal though, I want to heal. I want to heal up. I can't believe Monica woke up on that turn, that is freaking insane. Alright, so healed up as this thing is going to go for Bounce. I don't know if that'll kill me. Um, I can't do anything because it's gonna hit me with bounce. Uh, um, what can I do? I can't do anything. Uh, I could use like an X attack. I think I'm gonna live a bounce. If I use X attack, I'm gonna sweep him now, though. Screw it. I'm almost positive I'm gonna live bounce, even though Surf did that much, and that was. Not very effective. He could miss bounce. No, he's not gonna miss it. Um, come on, come on, Monaco, please. Yes, all right, sweet. No power hacks either. I think we've uh, just swept him. Gonna go for aerial ace. This is definitely gonna knock it out. Yeah, this is for sure gonna take him out. Yep. So there we go. Down goes Hitmon Lee. Next up is Hitmon Chan. I should definitely uh, one shot that. If I took out Hitmonlee in one- well, actually not- Hitmonchan is more bulky, but this is a plus two aerial ace now, because I use next attack, so... We should sweep. We should sweep up here. Alright, so next is Bro- oh, this is just gonna- 
<laughs> Breloom is just gonna die <laughs> to an aerial ace. Going for Mach Punch, this won't do much, because I'm by four times resisted. Yeah, that did absolutely nothing. Pivotal attempt. But, uh... Can't blame the dude for trying, I guess. I guess we just overkill Breloom. And the last Pokemon on his team is a Hariyama. I this thing has so much HP, but I don't know if it has a, like I don't know if it's bulky enough to take a plus two aerial ace. Luckily, it didn't have bullet punch because that would have killed me from there. Uh, is it bulky enough? It is not. Monaco solo. Nice. Alright, there we go. We lost. You damn right. <laughs> you damn right. Hmm, I lost. How about that? Alright, you're worthy of the Storm Badge. Alright, so we get the Storm Badge from Chuck. That is our fifth gym badge. The Storm Badge lets your Pokemon fly to any city or town you've already been to. Here, take this too. So we get Team on one that is Focus Punch, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't land if the foe is... Okay, yeah, so I, I know how Focus Punch works, so... Anyway, we get to register Chuck in the Poke Gear. And, uh, wah, I enjoyed battling you, but loss is a loss. From now on, I'm gonna train 24 hours a day. Alright, sweet. And now we're gonna talk to, uh, this woman here. That's the Inwood's Gym Badge. Then you should take this HM. So, we get HMO2, it does contain Fly. Teach Fly to your Pokémon. You'll be able to fly instantly, you know? Any- yeah, cool. So, uh, who can learn Fly? Probably- if only Togetic can learn Fly, I'm gonna be kind of angry. I'm gonna hope a Ninjas can. Yeah, that was a bit of a stretch, thinking that Ninjas could fly. Well, I can't fly, but, like, he used Fly, I guess. But, I think with all said and done, I am going to wrap it up here. In the next episode, we're going to be heading back to Olivine City and probably even taking on the Olivine City Gym because there's nothing else for us to do there, so... Yeah, it could be two gym battles in succession. Actually, it will be because I will have to take it on. There is really nothing else I can do. So I just thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, it would be awesome if you could leave a like and also leave a comment telling me what you thought. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll be seeing you guys next time. So, catch you guys then.